Meantime, the local tourism sector is poised for a major bounce back from the impact of COVID-19. Stakeholders are gearing up to welcome the first international cruise ship since the closure of the sector last year amid the global COVID-19 pandemic. The country is in preparation mode to receive the first international cruise ship since the closure of the sector due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Royal Caribbean Cruise Line's Celebrity Millennium has indicated St. Lucia as a stop on its itinerary in mid-July, along with the islands of Barbados and St. Martin. This decision was made after ample discussion with local authorities. Jereen Georges, Public Relations Manager of the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, SLTA, explains the strict protocols which will guide the arrival of the ship. Preliminary discussions with Royal Caribbean include a commitment that both passengers and crew over the age of 18 years would all have been vaccinated, full compliance to pre-arrival COVID-19 testing, and that tour operations would be conducted within a green corridor or bubble. Additionally, all persons disembarking would be subject to the standard protocols of wearing of a face mask, physical distancing, and sanitizing. Georges says the overall aim is to ensure while the cruise ship sector can continue to benefit the local economy, the local populace is kept safe. A special committee has been established to provide oversight to the resumption of cruise tourism, which include the Ministry of Tourism, Ministry of Health, Port Health, St. Lucia Air and Seaports Authority, Invest St. Lucia, Customs, Immigration, Port Security, the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, St. Lucia Tourism Authority, and cruise agencies, Cox & Company Limited, and Foster and & Inns. We are enthusiastic that with the advent of science and technology amid this pandemic, we can prepare for a silver lining. Communications with key sector agencies have begun, with the focus remaining health and safety. According to Jereen Georges, the coming weeks will see increased dialogue with suppliers and operators, and the committee will hold regular meetings. The agenda to include the review and approval of protocols for the reopening of the sector, a review of the terminal and its operations, and logistics for excursions within protocol. From the Government Information Service, Kumadi Mark reporting.